In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to look at five different ways that you can transition from one video clip to another by using circular wipes. Now you may have up to five different options, or less perhaps, but it depends on the version of Power Director that you have. But we're going to cover the five that are accessible to me with my version of Power Director. Hopefully most of them will work for you. I have two clips on the screen from similar views. One is a couple at a desk, and then the other is the individual typing and then looking at the camera. So what we're going to do is make a transition between these two clips using circular wipes. So I need to go to my transition room to start with. I can click on the lightning bolt above the film or the press the F8 key. The first one we're going to look at is probably the most common and that's simply called wipe center. I'll take this transition and drag it down between the two clips. And then if we play, we'll see that we have a very soft wipe between scene number one and scene number two. So scene number two begins to be revealed from the center of the screen. Now, if I click on that, I have a modify button above the timeline, but if you look carefully, you'll notice there are no features that you can modify beyond the transition behavior. So no big changes on that one. The next option I'd like to look at for a circular wipe is the wormhole. If we click on that and drag and drop it down, it will replace the other transition. And when we play this one, we notice we have this distorted effect around the outside of the circle. It begins from the center and it has a bit of a metallic look at it. Uh, but you notice it's distorting the image as it grows larger. So that is a second kind of wipe. If you want the opposite of that, there's one called mirror. And we'll go back alphabetically there and look at mirror. I'll drag and drop it down. And now if we play the mirror, we find that it starts on the outside, goes to the inside. But you also have now the distortion is on the inside of the clip number A, and you have a little bit of a silver edge to the outside. Again, this one is not adjustable. You can't make any changes in it in terms of its features. So that is the number two. So a reversal of the wormhole. So those are three that you get with PowerDirector. But there are a couple more that you might not know about. So we're going to look at those. I'm going to click on the down arrow in my transitions room and go from all content to ProDAD. If you have CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate, you will have both Adorage and VitaScene options. Let's look at the VitaScene. If I click on that one, I can drag that transition down and drop it just like any other. But then when I click on it, I'm going to click on Modify, and I'm going to change the panel size between the preview screen and the transition box, and click on Standalone Effect. Now to get to the one I want to use, it pops up a subsidiary screen, and I want to click on the down arrow at the top. I have a one called Transition Group Number 1, and under that there's one called Shape Wipes. I'm going to click on that. And I see here that I have actually six circular wipes as, long, as well as one cloud wipe. So if I double click on any of them, it will preview the wipe on the screen. Now, this depends on how wide your screen is. To record, mine isn't as wide as I normally have it. So I'm going to try to approximately center the image in the preview window. And with the sparkle circle wipe, I'll click play and that starts from the inside out and it's a bit of a sparkle look to it. We have another one that would be common which would be a black circle wipe and when we start that and begin to play it I'll move my playhead to the beginning and we play that we it's black again from the center to the outside. Now one nice thing about the Vitascene wipes is you can reverse them. You can click on the box in the lower left called Swap Direction. 
when I click on that, I should be back at the beginning when I click on that. We'll play it. And it will go from the outside to the center. So you have actually two options for each of these six. There's another feature about it I'd like to point out. We'll turn off the swap direction. And you notice the look and feel of the edge of the black. We're using the black circle white. If I take the AB sharpness scale and drag to the right, it becomes thinner and sharper, right down to probably a pixel or two at the end. And that's a very sharp wipe in this case. If I move it in the other direction, let's move, move the playhead back a bit, and I move in the other direction, it becomes thicker and more fuzzy. So that's two modifications that you can make on any of the Vitascene circle wipes. And there's six of them there. And so you have quite a bit to play with, to experiment with in terms of circle wipes in the Vitascene shape wipes. So those are the options. And if when you're done, the trick with Vitascene is you need to press the F12 key or you can click on the file menu and click on back to the editing program. And then it will make the change back in PowerDirector since it's a plug-in. And here we go from one scene to the other scene. And you can keyframe the wipes as well. We're not going to go into the details of that. The other one we have is a Adorage. I'm going to click the Adorage down and drop it. And now I have an Adorage wipe. I need to click on Modify, Standalone Effect, And this will be for people who have a Dorage Volume 2. You may not have Volume 2 in your library. It will depend on uh, what you've purchased and what you've got from other versions of PowerDirector. But if I click on the Volume 2, then I move to the Alpha Effects, the second subcategory, and I can move to Circle. And here I see that I have a circle wipe starting from the center and moving to the outside. I also can use an ellipse or different times, types of circle. Here's a, here are four kinds of circles at once. There's a blend one, which is a clock type circle, a circle with particles. We're going to just focus basically on your, our standard circle. You have many subcategories that you can try when you're doing this. But a simple circular wipe will work like this. Now, I can also click on the mixer box below the preview screen, and then I can click on invert graphic. Now this one happens to be on, I'm going to turn it off, and that goes from the outside in. We've seen that kind of technique before. So this is a way to make it either explode from the middle or shrink down from the outside, depending on whether this box is clicked. And when you're done, click on the OK button on the lower left side, and then when we play this, we will see the Adorage wipe applied as the transition between our two scenes in the preview screen. So that's an overview of some of the variations you have available in editions of PowerDirector with circular wipes between two video clips.